Hello everybody. I don't know about you, but at this time our normal pattern of life has been totally changed. It's got really uneventful and quiet. We don't have the usual rhythm of our week, so I struggle to know what day it is sometime. Uh, I've lost that ebb and the flow of our normal pattern of our week. It's disappeared. And uh, I realise that might not be the case for some of you. Maybe you're just quick stepping through life. So much so that you feel that you've hardly got time to get everything in. Uh, the verse that came to my mind was in Philippians 4 verse 11. Paul's just thanking the Philippians for a gift that they sent to him. And he talks about how sometimes he's had a lot, sometimes he's not had much. And he says in verse 4, in chapter 4 of verse 11, sorry. For I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Uh, Paul had learnt that through the various times of his roller coaster life that he'd lived. He'd learnt to lean on God, he'd learnt to listen to God, and he'd learnt to, as he says in verse 13, I can do all things that through Christ who strengthens me. He'd learnt to gain his strength through Jesus. Sometimes I know that I feel that God leaves us sitting around in quiet times and he goes off to be with people who are in action. But I've realised this isn't true. When he's sitting, when we're sitting, he sits with us. When we're walking, he's walking with us. When we're running, he runs alongside of us and with us. And sometimes, like that famous poem says, he carries us. He never leaves us or forsakes us. I don't know about you, but often I'm looking ahead to the next thing, the next stage of life. And the next thing that I'm going to do and my plans for the future, wanting to push forward. But in all the different rhythms at the moment of our lives and days, let's just look to lean into God in the season that he's put us in. And like Paul did, to gain strength through Jesus, we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. Thank you.